Uh, extremely disappointed, and obviously the outcome of the game and how we played. Uh, you know, off, off, offensively in the first half, we moved the ball well. We we had a uh, two procedure uh, issues there at midfield uh, that created a longer field goal than we wanted to attempt at the beginning of the second quarter. Uh, but I thought, thought we had success moving the ball. We really hurt ourselves in the second half. You go up 20 to nine, and you have an opportunity to get a holding call uh, that again p- pumps us out of field position. Uh, you know, defensively extremely disappointed with the tackling and, and uh, lack of tackling uh, in the game. You give up two over 90 yard drives where, you, where you're using Joe as a weapon to, to pin them back and, and thinking in terms of. Uh, you know, making a play and get off the field and had a couple critical third downs we don't make plays on. Uh, and then, you know, just the tackling and leveraging of the ball. So a uh, lot to improve on, and we certainly will. And uh, and I'm just uh, disappointed in, in, for our players and our fan base. And I'll open up for any questions. Great, Dan. Mm-hmm. Well, what was the, the thinking like on the, the fourth and one to go ahead and punt that instead of trying for it? Well, you pin them back on, on the five-yard line. I felt confident about our defense coming into this game and, and making some stops. and. Uh, you know, they, they had gained some yards. We'd made some stops in the red zone in the first half. But, you know, I mean, again, you, you, you played the percentages there with I felt comfortable about our defense, and obviously I was wrong. So we, we got to go back and reevaluate in those situations and uh, leave our offense on the field. Jake, was so, under so much pressure today, is the offensive line problems, are they fixable? And if not, why not more designed runs for Jake to take pressure off those guys? Well, we did, he did run the ball several times. They, they, you know, a lot of times, in Gene, when you're you know, in, in zone read situations, it's based on what the look of the defense gives you. So there's some times that that didn't help you. But uh, again, we'll go back and evaluate. There was more pressure than we would have liked, obviously. We'll go back and evaluate that. Will, how'd you feel about Jake's play overall, particularly late, the the, the last drive there we yeah, had a we'll, chance, we'll, missed it. We'll go back and look at it. Obviously, when you get into a loose down situation, they know we need a touchdown to win the game. They're pinning their ears back up front. They had good push in the pocket. Uh, so we'll, we'll go back and evaluate it. How are AJ and Ortray? They're AJ fine. They'll be back. They were game time decisions. They'll be fine. Injury, concussion, what's, what's No, I had shoulder. Coach, you talk about the tackling, but why was the run game so successful? Is there something you hadn't seen, or did they just do it better? No, I mean, you know, you look at the first drive, you, uh, you, we miss a tackle on the edge over there for, I think, a 22-yard run on their sideline. Uh, we missed leverage on a big power play that I think hit for, uh, I, think I want to say that was at 26 yards on their sideline. Uh, you know, I, I think, again, there was a couple times we got bounced out of gaps. They do have good backs. They, do, they were patient in their runs. They, they cut back, and we over-pursued several times that, that hurt us in the, in the game. So we'll go back and, you know, evaluate the things we need to we need to improve on. Obviously, there's a lot. Coach, what did you think of Howell's play, true freshman first? I think story? he's a good player. I think they did a nice job of, you know, putting him in some one-on-ones. We obviously weren't stopping the run in the second half very well, so we got to a lot of single high coverage, and he had some one-on-one matchups. He made some nice throws. How surprised are you by the way your team played today? I just defensively, I thought we'd play much better. I mean, you know, obviously offensively, I felt like in the first half we moved the ball. Uh, we didn't capitalize on some opportunities that we had, and then uh, we just got to go back and, and look at the second half and why we weren't moving the ball better. You spoke a lot of the off season about how pleased you were along both lines of scrimmage. What did you see out of those guys I'm today? Disappointed today. Obviously, that's not what we want. That's not what we want. Not where I thought we were. You know, Gage and coming into the first game, I thought we'd be further along, and we're not. Do you feel like you're in a tweak situation or in a major realignment situation well, with that group? To, we'll find out some things, narrow down some things. Obviously, we can do better, and, and that's what we're going to do. And again, we had the game in the balance at 20 to 9, and we got to take advantage of that situation. And uh, we didn't take advantage of it. We gave them life, and that's you can't do that. How do you feel about this team responding to a performance like I that with what you have ahead? We have good leadership, and we have good, good young men in that locker room, yeah. It, se- it seemed on a couple RPOs that they seemed to sort of take away Jake's read and you kind of had to pump and sort of look around. What did you see kind of going wrong on some of those plays? Well, again, they, sometimes they were able to play man coverage and, and uh, did a nice job disguising pre-snap, and so they take away the look. You know, sometimes when they jump into after the post-snap, is, is, is the, the ball is snapped. So there's some things we'll go back and look at to evaluate what we need to do. Well, why didn't the passing game seem to really get into a flux throughout the game? Was that the offensive line or just something else going on? Well, again, I want to go back, Dave, and watch the film before I start making a bunch of comments on, on what you know we need to do in the passing game to improve. But you know, again, we, we had a lot of RPOs set up in this ball game uh, to t- try and create some one on ones outside. We didn't hit any of the one on ones outside. We took some shots down the field and we missed on those. Coach, do you, on some of those kind of tight 
tight passes where they kind of fit in just over, just over de defensive backs. Did you feel like defensive backs weren't had made some mistakes, or was it just kind of a matter of? No, great I think throws? we're in position to make the play. You had a freshman, and you had Israel on the two fade balls, so you have opportunities to make the plays. You got to get the ball off the guy. Well, you mentioned the tackling issues. How do you fix that? Is it a form thing, or is that a? Well, I mean, I think it's a leverage thing. Keep bringing your feet on contact. I think obviously their tempo had something to do with that, and we didn't get aligned and and, and getting the right. You know, angles to where you need to be in, in position to make a play. I think that was an issue at times, but it wasn't an issue in camp. And when our offense runs tempo a lot, so I was frustrated with today. What did you think of Jake's demeanor, his, his composure, how he handled himself out there throughout the course of the game? I thought he was fine. I mean, I didn't notice anything unusual. Well, is there a case with Jake, you know, throwing a couple of picks late? You look at Ryan and on again, or is Jake? The well, guy? we just need to go back and evaluate the, our team at all positions right now. And then see what we need to do and put our best foot forward. Anything else for Coach? Is that a frustrating comment to have to make after game one yeah, to have to go back is. and look at everything? Right. Mm hmm.